Okay, class, let's go over today's math lesson. Norma goes to the store and buys 65 watermelons, but Jared takes 10 of them. How many watermelons does Norma have left? Now, hold on. Why would anyone in their right mind need 65 watermelons? Because that's what the math problem says, Timmy. It just feels like a false premise. And even if they let me buy 65 watermelons, why does Jared get to take 10 of them? That seems really oppressive towards women. Okay, class. I think we're missing the point of the exercise. Girl power. Feel ya, boo. Okay, fine. We'll use a more practical example. Let's say Johnny brings 65 joints to school in his backpack. That's gonna reek. Also, it'd be hard to disguise that much pot in the backpack. Fine. Johnny brings 35 joints stored in hermetically sealed Ziploc stash bag. That work. Let's say Johnny sells 10 of those joints at $4.50 a pop to his classmates. What does Johnny get? Six months in juvie? <clears throat> okay, so, you know, kids, drugs are bad, and you should never, ever do them. But Johnny did, in fact, make 45 bucks in cold hard cash. Word. Uh, Mrs. Johnson, I'm gonna need to see you in my office. Ah, oh, crap.